You see, whether you like it or not, as at this morning, he's the forerunner in the race, um, whether you like it or not. And he seems to be gathering a lot of storm, especially from his fellow politicians. The, what concerns us, the general public, is that we need to look at our own pers- to forget the interest of the politicians. They know the game they are playing. What you need to do back home, all of us here, is to think properly, uh, you know, when all the candidates do emerge, and see who you believe will carry you to the promised land. There's no promised land in something temporary. There's, in terms of money you are given to vote and so on and so forth. Think of your life for four years. As regards uh, Ashwa Jutinubu, I congratulate him. You know, he's done, he's he started his campaign. But at the same time, it is now time for us to ask him some pertinent questions um, for, so that we can lay a foundation. For example, mm. we need clearance on, on all the rumors making the rounds about his age, schools attended, and we need his campaign team should now give us something to go by. We don't want to elect a president who, after being elected, we now somebody files a suit and says he's from Madagascar or he's from Benin, you know, he's from outside Nigeria or South Africa or whatever. Because whether you like it or not, the origins of Tinobu have been very controversial. And for a president, if you are going to have a president, we must know him. We definitely must know him. So I'm going to urge him to come out, I don't want to use come out, what come out clean, but to come out and tell us exactly his age, his, 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 um, his background, so that we can clear that. He also lays his, his, his bid for, for the presidency on the quote-unquote success he has made of Lagos. That is for us to decide. It's for you and for me and for him. All of us will decide whether, given the antecedents of what he has done in Lagos, you'd like to give him a federal ticket uh, uh, you know, as, as president. Why, why is our nays fuming? No, they don't know how to play politics. Um, that's as simple as that. Because you're fuming, but you haven't produced a candidate. Mm. What is Tinubu supposed to do? Sit back and wait for you? Or pick a candidate for you? He must need to play the right politics. Mm. Uh, look, whatever you might think about this gentleman, when it comes to politics, is a professor emeritus. Uh, whether I'm going to support him or not is my personal... Uh, I, I don't want anybody saying, is uh, Jimmy Disu, you are the one who made us vote for this or not vote for that. But remember... Remember, remember, especially for those of you who might be doing this for monetary concerns and other concerns, mm. you are going to consign yourself, you know, to the hands of the next president for another four years. Having suffered, you know, to a large extent in the past eight years, the, the whatever, the decision is left to you. Oyewale Oyewale says on YouTube that it is common sense that whatever document you were submitted as um, governor subsists until no man has just document. So why the question? Uh, for information, I don't believe in Tinobu's candidacy, so this is about the man. He's saying that perhaps his, his document is already, is already in the open. If anybody wants to know anything about him... Um, when he was governor, those documents were still, you know, could still be valid. I, I don't know why. I don't know why sometimes we're hypocritical about certain things. There is a controversy about this man's background, and all I have said is clear the air. I'm not talking about whatever documents he submitted in the past, mm. which he said somebody signed for him. If you remember, he said it was Afuku Yomi who signed these things for him. I'm not talking about now. This is the presidency, Oga. This is the big deal. And it is difficult for you to tell people to cast your vote for you if you will not come out honest with them. Mm. He's qualified. There's no doubt about it. He's qualified. But there's, there have been controversies about his background. He should clear the air. If he's going to, if he's going to need to apologize, he should do so.